So today I've been playing a lot with art in my sketchbook and a bunch of stuff and I have these uh, confetti crowns that honestly I think I've just watched. I don't think I've ever actually tried to use them and they're really cute and uh, I'm going to try them out today just to experiment a little bit more. I really like this yellow green and the orange one. Uh, most of them are pretty muddy, which is to be expected, but uh, I'm gonna draw some stuff now that I've swatched them. Today I have this guy to tackle. Um, this is a coil vase. Clemmy is playing with an ice cube that I gave her because she's obsessed with ice. But this is a coil vase uh, that I picked up after they bisque fired it. But I made this with coils and essentially what I did, I didn't record it because it was very impulsive and I got really into it so it wasn't recorded, but essentially what I did is I just did a slab for the bottom and then I just coiled and smoothed inside and outside all the way up. And I think it's so cute. It kind of looks like a volcano, but it's okay. I'm going to cover it with a bunch of flowers because I think it's going to look really nice like that. And I'm still trying to decide if I want to paint the flowers and make the vase colorful or keep it like two colors like just do outlines for all of it and then do the background all one color so i don't know but i have to glaze this today yeah i mean i'm basically in that time where post shop update and i don't have any big projects coming so i'm kind of like free 
which feels nice. Um, so I'm going to probably sketch, work on my boot painting because I want to finish it so bad, and then kind of see where I'm going to go from here, what I want to work on next, and practice some stuff I've wanted to practice as well. Like I've been really into nature and wanting to improve the way that I draw nature and stylize it, so I've been in my sketchbook a lot and I'm going to continue to do that. So I decided that I'm going to go ahead and test out some colors on my iPad first and then see what I'm going to put on this guy. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about this coil vase that I just can't get over, um, but essentially this vase is kind of like the product of me breaking up with the pottery wheel. Um, a few weeks back when I finally got back into the ceramic studio after the holidays, I kind of started having a really difficult time with confronting the wheel and just bossing the clay around and stuff and I would had a lot of failed pieces so I just decided to revisit hand building. Um, I was always really set on learning the wheel because it wasn't something I got to do during school but and, and, and because of that I kind of like abandoned hand building because that's what the only thing that I did in school but now that I kind of started struggling with the wheel I went back to hand building and I'm kind of like super in love with it. I won't do exclusively either one, but um, I just love how slow the process was with this. This took me about like two and a half hours to glaze in total, just because of all the little details and the layering and everything. So yeah, I'm just, I'm super proud of it and you guys will see it out of the kiln towards the end of the video.
So I wanted to quickly show you guys this very big mistake that I did um, just to show you that I still make really big mistakes and they're really frustrating, but it's okay. Um, so at this point I had been packing Patreon rewards for a while and I realized that I had put the wrong rewards for the wrong tiers, if that makes sense. So the way that I pack stuff is by tiers. So first I pack the tiers that get one sticker, the tiers that get sticker and sticker sheet, the tiers that get print and sticker, and so on. Um, and I had accidentally put a print in a bunch of envelopes that it did not belong in. Um, so I had to go back and open them all up and take it out and then, you know, seal it back up with tape because the glue wasn't as sticky anymore. But it's stuff that happens, guys. Like, it's perfectly normal. Um, and it was luckily this time it was like an easy-ish mistake to correct, but yeah, it, it's just what happens. Hello, my hair is a mess, um, but I have finally finished packing up all of y'all's Patreon envelopes. Thank you so much to my patrons. You guys literally give me the ability to make art that I want to make and feed my children and everything. So thank you a million times. I love you guys. Um, and I just finished packing everything up. I just have to stamp and put the return on dress and every on all of them but like all the packing and everything is done um and that's essentially what i've been doing the past two days literally all day today i thought i might have time for some artwork and i really don't think i will if i do do something i will do something on my ipad but i just i really don't think i'll have time i really wanted to finish my boot print i mean no my boot print my boot painting today but uh yeah i think i'm gonna do a little bit of stamping and stuff and then after that i want to have like a tiny bit of time for art
So yes, I got a new computer. Um, I wanted to give you guys a little mini review, um, but keep in mind, I did not buy this myself. I was very lucky to receive this as a gift, and I explain it a little bit more later on in the video, but um, I mean, I had a 2019 iMac, and this is definitely, definitely a huge upgrade. I love that the computer is a lot lighter. I love how thin it is. The display is like HD on steroids. <laughs> um, and just like it runs a lot smoother, obviously, because it's like a new computer and stuff. So yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with it. And if you're in the market for a new iMac, you've had yours for a while, it's, it's worth it, guys. So I have some art mail from Art Friends. I have been collecting these and I'm ready to open them with you guys. So I'm really excited to see what my little art friend sent me. This one is from Vicky or thanks Ju, thanks XU. Oh my goodness. And I love this pencil case. Wow. I think, is there something inside of it? Oh, so cute. And then, oh my God, this is absolutely beautiful. I remember seeing this on Vicky's Instagram. She made a Rezograph calendar and it's absolutely beautiful. Wow. I love this pink. Wow, thank you, Vicky. And I think this is like my note. And maybe some stickies in here. And some little sticker dudes. Thank you, Vicky. Okay, next I have some stuff from Marlene. Ooh, yes, I remember Marlene telling me that she was gonna send me some of her new pins oh my god these are so cute so marlene does a lot of enamel pins and she does a lot of like uh mexican inspired enamel pins which i love i think my favorite is the iced coffee and the abuelita chocolate but these are so cute and her backing cards are always super amazing and oh she sent a cute little sticker then i have some stuff from katie my Oh. <laughs> we got a little fishy artist and a little library card enamel pin. So cute. Okay, I will get this washi tape out later. But oh, it's like a little kitty's doing stuff, doing little activities. That's cute. And Katie's business card. Whoa, this memo pad has am like amazing colors. Wow, this is so pretty. Ah, the little stickers. I love, 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 love this sticker. It's so cute. Oh my goodness, the farting frog. And then some bookmarks. Oh, I love the Yeehaw one. Ooh, some little Valentine's cards. And some fun prints. Oh my goodness. I have been spoiled. Thank you, Katie. So, I did get a new computer. It was not planned at all. Um, very quick story, my dad needed a new computer. He bought this one. He did not realize that this one was not compatible with the program he needed for work. 
he went to return it. They did not want to give him a full refund. So he was like, I'd rather you have it. And I'm very grateful that um, he decided to give it to me. So yeah, that is why I have a new computer. I was planning to use my other iMac for another four years or so, but uh, I'm very grateful. Now I have a new, a pretty and new iMac. Um, but something else I wanted to talk to you guys about is a very special something that I have worked on for the last few months or so. And that is another plushie. So uh, you guys really love the Yeehaw Strawberry and unfortunately I cannot ever bring it back. I get so many questions about bringing it back, but I cannot bring it back guys, that was it. Um, but I decided to do another plush with Makeship and um, I went with their long boy format of plushes and I decided to do a little clammy plush with a peach hat and I love that the peach hat is Sherpa. I'm really happy that we were able to get that detail but I spent probably like six months designing this guy. Um, samples going back and forth, all that fun stuff and she's finally here. So um, I think at this point there are about four days left for the campaign. Um, we had 21 days to reach 200 sales. At this point, we're at only 100 sales. So if we want this clummy plush to get made, we have to reach 200 by this coming Friday. If you're interested, I'll have the link in the description. Yeah, I mean, if, if it doesn't get made, you guys will get refunded, don't worry. But yeah, I'm really proud of it and I hope you guys love it. Oh, it has a zoom. But yeah, this is the end of the studio vlog. Um, this is kind of like my first vlog in a while. So I'm happy that I was able to record it and have it for you guys. I had a really relaxing, um, fruitfully art making few weeks. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one.